According to researchers in Florida, the novel coronavirus has mutated in a way that it has become more infectious than before. The researchers further said that they needed more time to analyze whether the course of the pandemic has been altered due to the mutation. The mutation allows the virus not only to attach to cells more easily, but to enter them more easily. However, one scientist not related to the study said, the change may explain why it grew exponentially in the US and Latin America. It's a mutation that scientists have been worried about for weeks. The researchers at the Scripps Research Institute in Florida said, the mutation affects the spike protein, a structure on the outside of the virus that it uses to get into cells. If the findings get confirmed, then the study would be right about the significance of the changes in the virus for the pandemic. Scripps research virologist Hiran Cho, who helped lead the study, said viruses with this mutation were much more infectious than those without the mutation in the cell culture system we used. The World Health Organization earlier said the mutation seen so far in the new coronavirus would not affect the efficiency of the vaccine under development. Last week, WHO said mutations had not made it more easily transmissible, nor had they made the virus more likely to cause serious illness. William Hazeltine, a virologist, biotechnology entrepreneur and chairman of Access Health International said, It is significant because it shows the virus can change, does change to its advantage, and possibly to our disadvantage. It has done a good job so far of adapting to human culture. You can see in some places it doesn't get very far, and in other places it has a field day. Scientists have been freely sharing the sequences of the virus, which like all virus mutates constantly. Sometime in the middle of January, there was a change that allowed the virus to become more infectious. It doesn't mean it's more lethal. It makes it about 10 times more infectious. However, other researchers had the reservation against the theory. In April, Beth Cobber of Los Alamos National Laboratory and colleagues published their concern also on BioArxiv, calling the D614G mutation of urgent concern because it had become by far the most common strain spreading in Europe and the US. It began spreading in Europe in earlier February and when introduced to new regions, it rapidly becomes the dominant form. But more work was needed to show that it was not an accident that caused the virus with the D614G mutation to become the most common form. 